What's up guys, today I'm gonna teach you how you can create this dope computer vision effect inside After Effects. It's super easy, let's get straight into it. So the effect today is based off like computer vision. You might've seen this in like autopilot. Basically it's kind of what the computer sees, but honestly it can be a really cool effect. Super easy, let's get straight into it. So first up, we got our clip right here. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to our tracker panel on our right hand side. If you don't see that, go to window, hit workspace and make sure you're in all panels. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit track motion. Once you do that, basically a tracking point is gonna come up and this will basically allow you to select and hover over any moving object that you're trying to track. So I'm gonna go over here to their face and I'm gonna select this little like bead right here. And basically the interior box is the, the part that's being tracked and the outside box is the range that's being tracked. Sorry, one other thing is make sure you're at the beginning of your playhead. That's very, very important. I kind of messed up right there. So we're just gonna go ahead and select that point and then we're gonna hit play. And now it's gonna go ahead and track. Honestly, that track was pretty good, but if your After Effects messes up, all you have to do is just readjust some of those points um, by moving them around. And honestly, you should be pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit layer, we're going to hit new, and we're going to hit a new null object. Now this is going to create a null object. A null object is basically like an invisible layer slash object, hence the name. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit edit target now, and we're going to make sure we're selecting on that null object. What it's doing is applying all this tracking data to that null object. So I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm gonna hit apply. And now make sure you select on X and Y and hit okay again. And then now you can see we have our null object right here, which is that red square and it's tracked to our subject's face. Now we can apply our actual effects. So now this is really easy. We're gonna go ahead and grab our computer vision overlays. I got these overlays um, from myself, I made them. If you wanna check them out, I've linked down below to them in the description completely for free. All I ask is that you smash this like button and hit subscribe. It's free, all this content is free, so it really means a lot now i'm going to drag that image onto our effect i'm going to scale it down because it's in 4k and let's go ahead and put it right there now what i'm going to do super easy i'm going to drag this little like swirly icon and drag it to our no object and boom you can see our object is now tracked now if you wanted to add more tracking squares it's super simple all you literally have to do is just hit track motion again it'll create a second tracking point and then you just basically go ahead and repeat all those steps again and by the way if you want to go ahead and change the color of the computer tracking square you can just go to your effects you can search for the hue effect you can drag and drop that onto your computer vision layer and then you can just go ahead and adjust that master hue until it matches something a color that you like but if you want to take this effect to the next level and add some more crt effects we can go ahead and do so in after effects so i'm going to go to my website real quick 11%.net and I'm going to grab the CRT digital emulator after effects project file it's only five dollars super easy and basically what all these are are I list all the project files to my tutorials so that you can go ahead and use them and test them out it's only five bucks if you want to help out it means a lot but basically this is a really cool project file one of my favorites because all I literally have to do is replace a layer when I open it you can see right here we have this nice CRT effect I'm gonna go over to the sequence that says insert footage here then I'm gonna drag my computer vision clip right here in this sequence I'm going to go back to my final effect and boom, you can see our effect now has like a CRT look to it. You can of course go ahead and boost the brightness to make it a little bit more visible. But honestly, I think it's a really cool way to just add on to this effect. Another thing I'd recommend is checking out our CRT overlay pack. And basically what this pack has is a bunch of like uh, CRT overlays, hence the name. I just drag and drop that onto my layer. I'm going to scale it down because they're all in 4K. And I basically made all these like CRT overlays. Go over here to where it says mode, click it, and then change it to screen and now you can see we have this like crt overlay applied to our effect honestly it's looking really really cool so if you want to check it out it's all linked below in the description at 11percent.net i think it's a really dope way to enhance this effect and one last bonus tip is if you go back to your footage right here and you search for the posterized time effect this one's a really fun one too because you can go over here to your effects panel and change the frame rate to 12 and now if you go to your final effect it has this like stop motion computer feel looks really dope hope you found something useful useful today. If you want to learn how to speed up your editing workflow and boost your productivity as a video editor, you should definitely check out this video linked right here.